This is happiness to be everything at once. Be unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned. Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Mood Prep. My name is Dave Nixon. Today we're going to go through. I'm going to kind of expand on. A comment I made in actually one of the episodes I had with um, Carl Weber um, on my musings episode uh, last week, and that was about uh, well, effectively, it was about not taking your clients' wins and also inherently not taking your clients' losses. But I'm going to sort of expand on it and, and talk about for us, not just from our client perspective, but also making sure that we take our losses and we take our wins. And it doesn't mean that we become cocky when taking our wins. Like it's crucial to stay in the humbleness of it all. Sure, that's fine. But it's more so going, it's so crucial for us to own our losses, and they're usually the first thing that we pass off, right? Or if you're so hard on yourself, which some people can be, is that they will palm off their wins and then continually like identify and notice every single that miss that they have, right? Which is really interesting, but where real progress happens is where we actually start to take ownership of both our losses and our wins and realize that they just are parts of the story there's like you hear the 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 sort of the term or the quote people say oh they left you know don't don't rest on your wins or they're resting on their wind or win rather or maybe you know the person that keeps telling the story about the the good old days the heyday and all that kind of stuff it's like right well if you ever hear me talk about setting your alarm this is what i'm in reference to it's like cool you won fantastic here's what you did well on here's what you need to improve on and then set your fucking alarm and get up tomorrow. Off you go again. All right, you lost. Let's talk about. It. Imagine it in a sort of sporting sense. It doesn't really matter any sense. But you lost. Cool, you lost. Well, this is what you uh, this is what you did well. This is what you can improve on. And so set your alarm. You got to get up tomorrow morning and do it all again, right? And so what we understand about the the master, whether that be um, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or whether that be in chess or whether that be a professor or whether that be in you know um, a painter, it's like what they do is they, like I mentioned, I think in my podcast it was yesterday, it's like they just paint every day. So for you and what you do, it's like it is so crucial for you to own your losses, own your wins and set your alarm to just take ownership for the things that are like that are within your control. So when we take ownership, and the power of that is that when we take ownership, we now have the ability to use that to be able to move forward. And it's not just about taking it what may be perceived as a negative into a positive. It's like shit is going to happen throughout your life. Some of it might seem unfair. Some of it might seem like, you know, you don't deserve that or you deserve better or you wanted something different or those expectations or whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. None of it fucking matters. It just doesn't. All that expectation rubbish, all of that, like, you know, assuming that something was going to happen or you deserve something, it's like it didn't occur. It, so here we are. So what are you going to do now? This is what you did well. This is what you need to improve on. Set your alarm. Let's go again tomorrow. And having this reality allows us to actually take not just ownership of our losses and our wins, but take ownership of the way that we respond to our losses and our wins. Because the only thing worse than like a sore loser is a sore winner. Oh, God, they're fucking annoying. Right? It's just like, if you truly want to become the best at what you do, then you understand that winning or losing is simply just a part of the process. Right? You, It's not one game. It's not this, well, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to frame this from two different sort of perspectives, okay? In the short term, in the micro, in the micro, it is this one game. You have nothing else after this game. So put everything into this game. Whether this game is your essay, whether this game is your a game of football that you're playing throughout the season, whether this game is a training session, whether this game is reading, whether this game is um, is school, it doesn't matter. Whatever this game is, it could be sex. I don't really give a shit what it is. Whatever it is, it's th- that's all that matters. That's all there is right now. But here's the kicker. And go back to the game principle, right? This game is simply just one game in a group of championships of games. Now, that group of championship, there is a championship of championships. So even though this game is all that matters now, in the big perspective of everything, 
there's an accumulation of wins that has to occur. Now, in that process, there's going to be an accumulation of losses. And we need to have losses from time to time because it allows us to learn things we wouldn't have otherwise learned. So a loss can sometimes propel you into another win, right? So it's understanding that even though that in this moment, nothing but this game matters, when we step back and look at it, we realize that the result of this game be the result of the game. Are you becoming a better human over time through the championship of games? That's the question. And that championship, if you're curious, it goes up until you live your last day. It doesn't stop. And for some people, it actually goes past that, depending on the legacy and the sort of the what they leave behind, so to speak. But let's just leave it with the actual life that you live. And so the crucial part of all of this is our ability to go... I need to own my wins, I need to own my losses, I need to own my draws, I need to own my training, I need to own the moment and understand what is within my control and how I get to choose to respond. And the key word here with respond instead of react is because a react is a reaction. This is the difference between being reactive and proactive and consciously deciding to make a decision that's going to help you become a better person long term. Because you can tell a lot about someone with how they handle a loss, right? You can really tell a lot about someone the way they handle a loss. And it's crucial. And so you've got to ask yourself, it's like, what kind of person do you want to be? You didn't get the job. What kind of person do you want to be? And you be that person when you're in the face of adversity and you miss the job, right? What happens when the girl knocks you back, when the guy knocks you back, when you come out of a relationship? How you respond to that is everything. And that's in your power. And so when we own our role in these situations we don't own their role they played a role if it's if it's two-way or four-way or whatever the business or the the individual or or the team or the referee whatever it might be they played their role what whatever you can't control that so stop focusing on it what can you take ownership of your role that you played in this situation that's going to allow you to get the most amount of feedback to become the better best person that you can and this becomes crucial because when we understand this then we realize that the game's done. Nothing you can do to change it. What did you do well? What do you need to improve on? Set your fucking alarm and get back up again tomorrow. Team, that's it. I repeated a few of those things on purpose because, I mean, that's one of the most powerful lessons for us to do is to be able to go like, okay, well, hang on a sec. Win or lose. You know, I I can win and not do my best and I can do my best and, and lose. So which one do you feel better about? It's like neither. They're just neutral, right? Sure, you want to win. I get it. And it matters, sure, but not in sacrifice of becoming a better person. So there's the message, my friend. Own your losses, very crucial. How you respond to a loss is everything, indeed. All right, I'm out, team. Thank you very much for tuning in and listening to this podcast. If you found this beneficial and you know someone else who you think would also find this beneficial, it would mean the world to me if you could pass it on to them, share the love, share the message. My memberships have now gone live. So memberships and mentorships, you can find out more. It's actually in the description of this podcast. It's davenixon.com.au forward slash memberships. And you can figure out a bit more about how to become um, part of the online community with uh, mood prep through the human movement, but also um, doing personal work with myself as well. Otherwise, just keep listening to this and being a gangster. I'm out, team. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, peace and pizza. Kick today in the dick. Slay the dragon. I'll see you soon. Unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned